Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I am out on location at Bingley Five Eyes Locks and I'm going to talk about the history of the Butterfield family who were very successful, famous textile mill owners around the Keyflet area and they owned the huge Cliff Castle as well which I'm going to show you later in this video and I'm going to start with John Butterfield who really laid the foundations down for this textile manufacturing family business and John Butterfield used to purchase his wool from the East Riding of Yorkshire and Lincolnshire and have it transported across rivers and the Leeds Liverpool Canal to Stockbridge so I'll talk about it during this video I'll visit Cliff Castle as well and really get into that history and really get into the heritage of this family business John Butterfield was a wool stapler and he was very interested in the textile industry and wanted to be successful in this type of business he used to buy his wool from farmers and have it transported along the canal on boats and he knew that there was a massive market for wool back then and he really had his finger on the pulse he was a very clever businessman a wool stapler is somebody that buys wool from a producer and sorts and grades it and then sells it on to the manufacturer for a great profit so he was transporting huge amounts of wool along this canal and yeah the textile business then during the industrial heyday was absolutely booming The canals were massively important for transporting goods and raw materials back then and I love visiting Bingley Five Eyes Locks, it really is a feat in engineering, it's amazing and the Butterfields wool would have passed through these locks and through this canal towards Keyfley and Stockbridge many a times and yeah this is, it's so historic and I thought I'll follow the trail of the Butterfields and visit the canal and just talk about how it all started, how they transported the goods and it really is an interesting one and I'm going to now set off, I'm going to head to Keyfley and I'm going to visit Cliff Castle which was their residence where they actually lived and if you've never seen it before it's absolutely spectacular and you can go inside the actual museum and it's free to enter and have a look around and explore the grounds and everything and yeah especially on a day like today it's 
it's beautiful so I'll head over to Keefley and I'll show you Cliff Castle cheers having a look around the grounds of Cliff Castle and I've been here many times before and it's absolutely huge the park's massive and just imagine actually having this land as your garden it must have been amazing and John Butterfield became one of the richest people in Keefley so just shows how he built up this empire from scratch really and they went on to own various textile mills across the way folly. When John Butterfield passed away, he left £25,000 in his will to his brother Isaac Butterfield. Isaac used this money to expand his own business and he also used John's staple business as well and expanded massively. So he used the money that John had saved up really wisely and the other Butterfield brothers owned other mills across the local area across the way folly so they were quite smart with money and they really invested it wisely in the local area and their family textile business during the 1880s and 1890s the local census showed that Butterfield was the fifth most common name in Keyfleet. So Cliff Castle is just behind me and this is where the Butterfield family lived and it's a remarkable building, it's absolutely huge, I love the architecture and just imagine living there and your garden, you know, it's it really is a huge park and on a beautiful day like this as well it's a beautiful place to come and see so yeah, so I'll show you the building from a few different angles and it's, it's well worth coming to see honestly and you know, they were so lucky to live in such a grand residence really it's, just shows you the wealth that must have been about in the textile trade back then.
By the early 1900s, Keighley established itself as one of the country's leading manufacturing towns. They also have a rich history in engineering achievements and pioneering new types of textile machinery. So Keighley really did play a huge role in the Industrial Revolution. It's great to get out for a bit and just keeps my mind and my body active in my spare time and you can't beat a bit of history, you know, I love reading history books and learning about our past and everything and reading local history and there's so much to learn and it really is, it's fascinating once you get into it. I really got into history sort of the last few years really and like I say, I'm, I'm out, I'm getting some fresh air so yeah it's it's brilliant so there's one of the water fountains there and these are absolutely gorgeous as well yeah i love those water fountains and they were actually brought over from italy the butterfields bought them and brought them over to this amazing cliff castle What an absolutely stunning building it is and I'm really proud to say that this is in my hometown as well and I hope that you've enjoyed this video everybody and I just thought I'll do something I've shown Cliff Castle before but I thought I'll really get into the start of it and show how the Butterfield Empire began and how it all came together and talk about the canals and how they got goods and raw materials over before the railways and things like that really so I thought I'd really delve into it and get back to basics and like I said just really get into how the empire started and yeah must have been some family business that they had and like I said they ended up going international and had the shipping business in America and everything so they were very famous very successful so thanks so much for watching everybody don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time cheers everybody see ya